Hello yet again, my good friends. Welcome back. It's very, very good to see you, like always. Today, we're going to take another look at Titania. Yes, I know. It's not Valban. And I know. We already looked at Titania a little while ago. But I received a lot of very thorough feedback, and I wanted to just, you know, update a couple things. Mostly revolving around her too. Apparently, I did not make enough changes to it. And some of the changes I did decide to make might have not necessarily helped it so much. So yeah, I'm making just a little update video. I'm going to try my best to keep this really quick. I'm not really going to go over any of the stuff I talked about in the last video because that kind of just make it redundant. So if you want to see that, it will be linked at the very top of the description. Please go check it out. And let's just get into this. We shall start with her base stats. Upon further review, I realize that her base stats, uh, health, shields, and energy, are all average, which is not great. Almost all Warframes have at least one that is higher than normal to, you know, help with their playstyle and the kind of thing they're supposed to be. And having average everything, especially on a frame like Titania, is really not good because she's a caster, so she needs a lot of energy, and she doesn't have a ton of ways to avoid damage, so having average health and shields is... it's... it's not great. So I'm buffing her shields to 125 at base rank, which goes up to 375 at max, and I'm buffing her energy to 150 at base, which goes to 225 at max. I don't think that's too much. I think it's still enough to be meaningful, so I think it's good. After that, we are jumping straight to her two. Like I said earlier, it still needed more work. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to get rid of this weird shenanigans with different durations of buffs and ranges and everything. We're just going to normalize all of that. I'm keeping the sort of stacking duration thing because I really like it for some reason. But I'm going to buff the duration of each stack to 18 seconds, which makes the fully stacked buff 90 seconds. I'm also going to make it so that all allies benefit from all buffs as long as they are within 30 meters. And I also think that this range shouldn't scale, but... I guess it would be okay if it did. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of completely rework how the Thorns buff works. Uh, one of the comments on my forum post pointed out how pointless damage reflection is in this game, especially with a frame as squishy as Titania is. Basically, you eat some damage and then you reflect back a portion of it to enemies that do minuscule damage compared to how much health they have. It ends up being just kind of useless. So I'm changing it. Now it's going to work like this. The buff, no matter how many stacks you have of it, is going to grant a 50% evasion chance that will not scale, just like her 4 will. Although I am giving it the stipulation that her total evasion chance cannot exceed 75%. After that, uh, anytime she evades an attack, the attacker that would have dealt damage now takes 50% of the damage they would have dealt per stack, which makes it a total of 250% damage if you have it all the way stacked up. Besides that, I am now going to change Full Moon so that it now affects all summoned units in addition to companions. That means it will affect things like Titania's Razor Flies, but also Necros's Shadows, Atlas's Rumblers, things like that. And the very final change I'm making to Tribute is that now, when you have a fully stacked buff, and you use Tribute on the enemy that would have given you that buff, it will now spawn a neutral Tribute that simply refreshes the buff that is nearest to expiring. Now we're going to move on to Razorwing. A lot of people complain that even though they have buffed the speed of Razorwing in several ways, it is still too slow. So, since it's basically Arcwing, I think it fits perfectly to add an afterburner to it. 
Another thing I'm taking from that form comment is the, if it's possible, the ability to use transference while in Razor Wing. And on top of that, making it so that you no longer lose stacks of Razor Wing Blitz when you leave Razor Wing. That way she can get in and out of Razor Wing much easier, and if she has to pop out of it for a second, she's not punished for it. Another quality of life change is making it so that Razor Flies, after they are killed, have a 15 second respawn timer. And each Razor Fly would have their own timer that is handled separately from all the others. That way, if they all happen to die at one time, they all come back at one time, instead of one at a time. And that about wraps it up. I really, really wanted to keep this fast. I may have ended up a little bit too fast. And if you think so, please let me know. Like I said in my previous videos, all feedback is appreciated. I really hope this ends up being enough for Titania and that a few more people are a little bit more satisfied than they were at the end of my last video. I'm not really going to make any more commitments to make a video because I am not consistent enough yet. I'm going to try to have more videos out much faster than it's been, but we'll just have to see. I do know for a fact though that my next full How Would I Change is going to be for Vauban. That, that's a guarantee. And that's all I've got. See you next time.